hello welcome to my channel for those of you who don't know me i'm steph and as the title suggests today we are going to be playing with the new wilderness palette from beauty bay the packaging just looks beautiful and this is the color story how beautiful is that color story it's got so much green i love green and uh also i wanted to see if it was as good as the Book of Magic or the Sunset Horizons because both of these are absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, if you would like to see how I created this look, um, see swatches of the palette and hear my first thoughts, then uh, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first shade I'm going to be using is Ivy. I think we all know I was going to go for the greens in this palette. Let's have a see. I'm hoping that this is the same amazing formula as the Book of Magic and the Sunset Horizons. I'm just packing this on. I love this green. Straight off the bat. Love it. Look at that. And it is packing on really nice. It's super pigmented. Super pigmented. As soon as I saw this palette for sale, I ordered it straight away. I mean, for one, I love these palettes from Beauty Bay. I didn't pick up the is it New Romantic one um, just because there were other things that I kind of wanted to check out more, if that makes sense. The colour story wasn't, it didn't really do anything for me. But this, this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm loving how this is packing on. Whew. I have everything crossed for this to, to just be as good because, I mean, I love my book of magic, but obviously you can't get that anymore. And uh, the Sunset Horizons also, but that is still for sale. But this, I think because because of the greens. So pretty. All right, let me just make sure this is all packed as much as I want it. I did it with my eyes open to make sure it comes above my crease. Hmm. Yeah. Pretty much got that. And then while I'm doing that, I'm literally just going to just take it under the very outer edge ever so slightly. Just so that that's ready to kind of match them up when we come to it. Okay, this is looking really good so far. So I am going to, so Hmm, the next colour I'm going in with is Eucalyptus, this one here. I'm, so, I'm just keeping everything crossed. I am so desperate to love this. And so far, we are two shades in and it's looking positive. Oh dear. I woke up feeling so rough this morning and uh, I honestly didn't think I was going to film. But the tablets have kicked in so I immediately started getting my base done in the hope that I would be able to, to film this. And here we are. So hopefully this is my pick me up for the day. <laughs> 
Oh dear. I'm rambling. This so far is looking really good. Just dabbing it into that dip ever so slightly. Okay, I so far I'm going to say yes, I love it. These are blending superbly. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, right. And then next I am going in with leaf. And fingers crossed again. I'll fill in this bit kind of when I go back to uh, to re-intensify them all. Well, this one is super pigmented and I think we are losing eucalyptus to this. But it's okay, we can go back in. Wow. The blend is amazing. So I'm just taking this most of the way under. And then I'm just going to go back between the three shades just to re-intensify where we may have lost anything. And then into eucalyptus again. I'm going to try and make this more noticeable. Oh, this is looking beautiful. back into leaf I'm coming right down onto the lid because I want to kind of use the colors as a base I'm trying something new so Missa, make me up Missa, doing something similar and yeah, I wanted to give it a go. I think I'm going to have to go back in with eucalyptus again. This is so pigmented. <laughs> I do love how this is coming together beautifully. And back in with eucalyptus. This is just looking amazing. Well, so far, dare I say it, I'd say this is uh, on par with the Book of Magic and Sunset Horizons. However, I haven't tried the shimmers yet. I'm trying really hard not to just jump the gun and say that this is, this is, we'll see. But 
it's looking good so far. Okay, so I am going to quickly pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and we will get on to the shimmers, which I am so excited for. I am keeping everything crossed that they are going to be the same formula as the Book of Magic. I'm literally just going over where I want to place the shimmer, which is slightly higher than my crease so that it shows. Just patting it down. This is a pad I literally did not have to think about getting at all. As soon as I saw it, that was it. Yep. I'm having it. When it comes to mainstream brands, that doesn't often doesn't often happen. I'm just gonna dab my finger over that edge there. Ooh, so for the outer part of my lid, I am going into moss, which is the deeper of the greens. It looks a bit brighter on uh, on camera. Now let's. Let's have a see. I'm so nervous for this because I so badly want it to be the same as the Book of Magic and not the Nikki Tutorials. Ooh. Okay, so far so good. Oh, okay. Well, this one is a win. Look at that. I have got some fallout. So definitely make sure you tap off your brush before applying or use setting spray, whichever you find works best for you. It does feel slightly putty like. I'm kind of dipping my brush in. I don't know if you can see, but it's quite smooshy. But if I, like that, it's quite smooshy. But I don't mind that at all. Especially not when it looks like this. Nice. I'm going to, in a moment, just see if dabbing it on with my finger makes any difference at all. Because I am, I am intrigued. Okay, so let's use the finger. Hmm. It doesn't really make much difference. It probably would if you weren't using glitter primer, I guess. Yeah, so far so good. Right, let's use you. Tiny you. Okay, so I've been umming and ahhing. It's between lime and ray. I think ray looks to be a geochrome, so I think I'm going to go. Yeah, I think I am going to go into ray. So this one up here. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to see on camera. Hopefully, you'll see it on my eye. It's the same putty-like formula. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow.
you know, this goes on absolutely beautifully. That is beautiful. I'm just making sure that I've followed that line up there. I will smudge that out in just a moment with the... Oh, look at that. This is so pretty. This shimmer is just so, so stunning. I'm hoping it shows up on camera just how beautiful this shade is. So I'm also going to bring that down as the kind of inner corner highlight and wrap it all the way around. Yeah. Okay, I am sold. This is beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous. So I am going to go into Eucalyptus, which is uh, this show here, going back into that. And I'm just going to use that to uh, kind of blend the shimmer and matte together there although I'm mainly dabbing and a little wiggles little swipes maybe little wiggles little swipes hopefully you will know what I mean nice and I'm going back in with Ivy, which was the first, the deepest green. And I'm just going to add a bit of that in. Just to make sure that we haven't lost that depth. And then just ever so gently going to, this is the brush that had eucalyptus on, the middle shade, the middle matte. Just kind of running that over the edges of the shimmers just to kind of get rid of any harsh lines. Okay, so I'm now going to nip off. I'm first, or well, you're next going to see swatches of the palette and they will be like from left to right down to the bottom. And then I will be back with the finished look and to let you know what my first thoughts are. So yeah, if you would like to see all of that, then uh, don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Before we talk about the palette, I'm just going to let you know what else I've popped on my face. So for blush, I've got the Juicy Lucy blush from Pout and Shout, which is this beautiful shade here. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm struggling today, apologies. <laughs> the highlighter I went in with is from Beauty Bay. I thought it was quite fitting. And this is the powder highlighter in the shade Glaze. I've also popped this on my inner corner and brow bone highlight. Um, I love it. They're so good, so underrated. And uh, where are we next? Okay, so <laughs> next, the mascara that I used is the e.l.f. Keep Your Curl Mascara. I'm actually really enjoying that. Um, I tight lined with the Fatal Beauty liquid eyeliner. This one's this black like my soul. But I think it's just their, their general black liquid liner. Love that. In my waterline, I have the Linda Halberg or LH Cosmetics Happy Mood Crayon. And the lashes I have on, crikey, the lashes I have on, they are from Glam Light. They are the gingerbread lashes. Um, I don't know if they're selling these anymore or whether they're going to bring them back for Christmas, but I love them. And... The wing liner is the Melt Ultra Matte Gel Liner in the shade Wallflower. I love this too. I love everything I've put on. And then to set, I use the e.l.f. Illuminating Primer Mist. I'm not sure how much it illuminates, but I like it. It's a bit of an aggressive spray compared to others though. So for my lips, I actually went in with two of the liquid lipsticks from the Live Out Proud collection, Madage Beauty. And the outside, I used Red Hot. And then I dabbed in, what's this one called again? Yellow Sunshine. I dabbed all around. It was just a case of uh, just dabbing the colour, blotting. Um, so yeah, it's a mixture of these two. So... The Wilderness Palette. First off, this colour story is just beautiful. I am so in love with the colour story. It's just gorgeous. The shimmers, I don't know if the others are the same, but I'm assuming so, are slightly putty-like. Um, but I still picked them up on a brush fine, as you saw. The mattes were easy to blend. Obviously, I've only used these green ones. Um, but they were really easy to blend. I would say this is definitely the same formula, or at least as good as the uh, Book of Magic and the Sunset Horizons. I am over the moon with this palette, and if you like this colour story, go for it. It's only £15, that's British pounds, which I think is an absolute steal for the quality that you're getting. I love it. I love it so much. So yes, this is going to take pride of place next to my Book of Magic, which I adore. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I love it. You've got a great big mirror, which I think is amazing also. And the packaging, I just think it's so different. Like all the little gold specks over it. I'm not quite sure what, what the gold specks are for, but hey. I love it. It's green, which helps no end. Um, so yeah, that was uh, my first thoughts, my uh, first impressions of the Wilderness Palette from Beauty Bay. Amazing. Let me know if you guys have either picked this up or if you're going to pick it up. Let me know. Let's have a chat in the comment section. Um, but yeah, that's it for now until next time so if you've enjoyed this video please do give it a like thumbs up it really helps me out if you are new around here and you like what you see if you like colorful makeup if you like discovering new indie brands yeah new to you indie brands i am a huge supporter of the indie brands and yeah i only use cruelty free makeup so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in then please do hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>